Hey everyone, in today's app video, I wanna show you how to use Microsoft Teams mobile app. It's available for iOS here on the iPhone and iPad, and it's also available for any Android device, and it's pretty identical on both platforms. I'll use the iPhone here, but it pretty much works the same way. There's a desktop app as well. I have a completely different video on how to use Microsoft Teams, and that's for Mac and PC. And you could start there and it syncs up to your mobile app. So if you use the same Microsoft login to log in, everything syncs up. So this is a great extension, but a lot of the features you could start here too. So you could create Teams and do everything else Microsoft Teams could do. If you've never used Teams before, basically it's a place to bring teams together to collaborate together. So you could chat, you could do video conferencing, you could do file sharing, a ton of different options available and I'll show you that throughout this video. And if it's your first time here, I make easy to follow app videos just like this one every single week, so please consider subscribing. Let's jump in here and you could look in the App Store or Google Play Store for Microsoft Teams or if it's already installed on a phone, if you're using a work phone, just go ahead and open it here. You just have to log in with your Microsoft account here. Again, if you use the desktop version of Teams, use that same email address and password. And right here on the very bottom, let me show you the most important part. You could go to the team section here. And if you're starting from scratch, you may not see any teams here. So to create a team, you just press the plus sign right on top here. And you could go ahead and create a team or browse teams or join a team if someone gave you a code. So if I created a team here, I could just go ahead and type out a team's name. I could go ahead and change the privacy here. So do I want it to be public? Do I want it to be private? And do I want it to be discoverable? Meaning can someone else look this up and join the team? Private and discoverable is what I wanna to do to keep this in my internal team here. I'll press done and it's gonna create that team for me. If you already have an existing team, you could just jump into it. Next, you could add people with their email or name. If they're part of this organization already, you could use their name or email to invite them to that team. So that will be the next step. I already created a team for this video. So I'm gonna skip this section and the team has been created. So this is called Teams Mobile App. Let me go back to see the other teams. And as you could see, I have multiple other teams here and I could jump into any one of those at any time and switch what team I'm interacting with. So different people could be part of all these teams or just one of these teams. Now inside of each team, or even if you have one team here, there are channels inside of that team to keep the conversation and the topics more organized. So you see on their Halfinity, there's only a general and a hidden channel. But if I press these three dots here next to that team, it lets me manage channels, it lets me manage tags, and it lets me manage members. So if I press manage members, I could see who is inside of this team, who's the owner, and I could press the plus sign to add more people. If I have a lot of people, I could use the search icon to see them that way. Let me go back and let me press the three dots one more time and let me manage channels. When you go to manage channels, you can see all the different channels here. I could press the check mark next to them to make them visible and I could press the plus sign to add more channels here as well inside of that same team. Again, I have the privacy settings available to me where this one has the standard or I could make it completely private which is accessible only to specific groups within a team. And at any time, again, you could press the three dots and edit the team as well. So if you wanted to change the team's name or the description or see the privacy settings of that team, you could go ahead and do that here. Let me go to this Halfinity team here and I'll go to the general tab to show you what takes place inside of a team. You could go ahead and create new posts. So on the very bottom, you could press new post to create post. You could type out your message and with the message, you could add images, GIFs, file attachments. You could use this at sign to call out someone else. So that's how I would call someone else to get their attention. They'll get a notice. And when I'm done, I'll press this airplane icon and it will post it to that Teams page. So very simple. First, create or join a team. And then you could interact here by creating these posts. This section also has a way to share files here. So you could go ahead and invite people or add files here. Again, you could do this on the computer as well. So some files may already be here if you use the desktop app to do that and you could browse them here, very useful. Let me go back to this main page here and let's jump into the chat section here. And this is very useful because you could chat with one person or you could create a group chat right here 
And there's a number of things you could do with a chat. So let me show you an example. I am going to either press the plus sign here to invite someone. It says share invite link or enter email to invite someone. I already did that. And I'm gonna jump into one of these chats here to show you what's available inside individual or group chats. A Couple of things you could do. You could just type out a message and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. So message goes here. And again, same kind of thing where you could add attachments, images and so on. Press the airplane. The message has been sent and Dan could now respond to me. But what most people use this for is the option to video chat right on top. So click this video chat option, give it access to your microphone, and it's going to call Dan, which is just a laptop sitting behind me just for this video. And when they pick up, you could start this conversation. I'm going to hang up now. And you also have a phone call option. So the phone icon creates a phone call that doesn't have the video feature along with it. And it's that simple to video chat with one person or you could do a video conference if you had more people in this group. So that's right under the chat option, it comes in very handy. Then you got the activity tab. And here, basically whatever you do inside of Teams, all these activities are gonna show up over here and you could sort it on top. So my activity will show me just what I've done, which was just a call and the message I just sent. But under feed, you'll see if someone mentions you or likes something that you posted or even replies to something, you'll see those under activity. So this is really a good place once you really get going with this to kind of check this and see what activities are happening here on Microsoft Teams. Now let's jump into meetings here. And meetings is another great way to basically add something to the calendar and people could have video conferences from these meetings or they could have one-on-one -on -one conversation from these meetings. All you have to do is press create a meeting here, give it a title and give it a time. So this time is fine and I'll press save on top. I could just copy this meeting link and then I could send this to someone via email, for example. And then when I'm ready, I could just go ahead and press join when the time is right. And you could see I could turn on the video on and off and test it out. I could do the same with my microphone and speaker here. And when I'm ready, I could press join now and it will join the meeting just like that. And inside of here, I got this little person icon right here where I could invite more people or see the people inside the, of this meeting on this page. As you could see to invite people, you just press add participant and invite them that way. And this is a great way to create meetings in advance, invite people, and when the time comes, they'll all jump into that meeting or the one-on-one -on -one conversation that you've set up. So the meetings tab really comes in handy for setting up things in advance. The chat apps comes in really handy if you wanna to talk to team members right now. And there's those three lines on top, click those. And this page is useful because it lets you change your status from available to away or busy or any of the number of things that you see here. So people don't send you a message when you're not around, you could go ahead and set it that way. And a couple other useful things in the settings that you might wanna look at. And as they have new updates, that will show up under what's new. So this is the settings that does come in handy. And if you have multiple accounts or if you're part of multiple organizations, you'll see all those accounts here and you could add new accounts on this page as well. And that's the overview of using Microsoft Team on your mobile device. As usual, in every app video that I create, I give it a rating from one to five, and this is easily a solid five out of five. They have the backing of Microsoft. Teams is just very well laid out where it's very straightforward step by step that you would just create a team, invite people to that team, and start collaborating, sharing files, having video conferences. Very, very nicely designed app. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I post videos just like this one every single week, and I hope to catch you next time.